हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो ऑन डबल इंटीग्रल्स आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रल्स ओवर द गिवन रीजन इन पर्टिकुलरली आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ डबल इंटीग्रल्स ओवर द गिवन रीजन विच इज बाउंडेड बाय द कर्व्स विद पोलार कॉर्डिनेट्स इन दिस प्रोसेस इन स्टेप वन वी विल ड्रॉ द कर्व्स विच बाउंड द रीजन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन एंड टू डू सो we will convert these equations of curves from polar to cartesian and that too if necessary in step 2 we will find the appropriate limits of r and theta and then in step 3 we will evaluate the integral now let us see examples in this first example we are asked to evaluate double integral of r cube dr d theta over the area between the circles r is equal to 2 sin theta and r is equal to 4 sin theta Let's see its solution. In step one, we are asked to draw the curves which bounds the region of integration. Here, the region of integration is bounded by the curves r is equal to two sine theta and r is equal to four sine theta. Both of these curves are circles, and to draw these circles, we will need center and radiuses of these two circles. So, to find that, we will convert these equations into Cartesian equations. to do so i will multiply throughout this equation by r so we get r square is equal to 2r sin theta now i recall the relation between polar and cartesian coordinates which is x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta therefore we know x square plus y square is r square so we replace this r square by x square plus y square and this r sin theta can be replaced by y so we get 2y on the right hand side now let's take this 2y on the other side so we get this equation now we compare this equation with the standard equation of a circle given by x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 center of this circle is given by minus g comma minus f and radius is given by root of g square plus f square minus c when we compare this equation of circle with this one we see here g is 0 and f is minus 1 so if i put g 0 and f minus 1 here we see center is 0 comma 1 and radius is 1 similarly when i multiply throughout this equation by r we get r square is equal to 4r sin theta in terms of cartesian coordinates this equation is x square plus y square is equal to 4y when we compare this equation with this equation of a circle we see the corresponding center is 0 comma 2 and radius is 2 now we are all set to draw these two circles let's draw these circles so we see this red is circle r is equal to 2 sin theta and this blue curve is circle r is equal to 4 sin theta together these two circles bound this yellow region now let's find out the corresponding limits in step 2 see that your region of integration is varying from this curve to this blue curve that means here r is varying from 2 sin theta Two, four sine theta. So the lower limit of the inside integral is two sine theta to four sine theta. And now we will see limits for theta. For that, note that this region of integration here in the first quadrant, touching to the positive x-axis, and on positive x-axis, angle is zero. That means theta is zero here. Also, this region is touching to the negative x axis in second quadrant and on negative x axis angle is pi that means theta is varying from 0 degree to pi so the lower limit of the outside integral is 0 and the upper limit is pi i hope you understood how we draw these limits now in next step we have to evaluate this integral that i am going to leave to you this is the final answer of this integral now let's go ahead for next example here we are asked to evaluate 
डबल इंटीग्रल ऑफ साइन थीटा डी आर डी थीटा ओवर द रीजन इन द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रंट दैट इज आउटसाइड द सर्कल आर इज इक्वल टू टू एंड इन साइड द कार्डियोइड आर इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू वन प्लस कॉस थीटा लेट सी इट्स सोल्यूशन इन स्टेप वन वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द कर्व विच बाउंड द रीजन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन हियर रीजन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इज बाउंडेड बाय द कर्व्स आर इज इक्वल टू टू एंड आर इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू वन प्लस कॉस थीटा आर इज इक्वल टू टू इज अ सर्कल टू फाइंड द सेंटर एंड रेडियस ऑफ दिस सर्कल वी विल टेक स्क्वेर ऑफ बोथ द साइड सो वी गेट आर स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू टू स्क्वेर एंड यूजिंग रिलेशन बिटवीन पोलर एंड कार्टिशियन कॉर्डिनेट्स वी नो आर स्क्वेर इज एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर सो वी गेट एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू टू स्क्वेर विच इज अक्वेशन ऑफ अ स्टैंडर्ड सर्कल सेंटर्ड एट ओरिजिन विथ रेडियस टू so here center is 0 comma 0 and r is 2 the other curve r is equal to 2 into 1 plus cos theta is a cardioid pointing towards positive x axis now let's draw these two curves this red curve is a circle centered at origin and radius 2 and this blue curve is a cardioid with equation r is equal to 2 into 1 plus cos theta then given that the region of integration is in the first quadrant that is outside the circle and inside the cardioid that means this one is the region of integration here step 1 is get completed now let's go for step 2 in step 2 we have to find the limits for the integral for that note that here region is varying from this curve to this curve so r is varying from r is equal to 2 to r is equal to 2 into 1 plus cos theta so lower limit of the inside integral is 2 and outside integral is 2 into 1 plus cos theta now for outside integral limits that is theta limits check that this region of integration is touching to the positive x axis and on positive x axis theta or angle is zero so the lower limit of theta is zero and then over here this region is touching to the positive y axis and on positive y axis angle is pi by 2 so theta is equal to pi by 2 is the upper limit of this integral i hope you understood how i draw these limits of the integral now next step is the evaluation i am leaving that part for you this is the final answer of this integral you can cross check it and write me in comment box whether you are able to solve it or not now let's move ahead for next example here we are asked to evaluate double integral of r e raised to minus r square by a cos theta into sin theta dr d theta over the upper half of the circle r is equal to 2a cos theta let's see its solution in step 1 we will draw the curves which bounds the region of integration here region of integration is upper half of the circle given by r is equal to 2a cos theta let us first find the center and radius of this circle to do so we will multiply both the sides of this equation by r so we get r square is equal to 2a r cos theta and we know that r square is nothing but x square plus y square and r cos theta is x so we get a equation in cartesian coordinates x square plus y square is equal to 2ax now let us take this 2ax on the other side you will have x square plus y square minus 2ax is equal to 0 when we compare this equation with the equation of a standard circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 we see that g is minus a and f is 0 so center of this circle is minus g comma minus f that is a comma 0 and radius is a now let us draw this circle this is how it will look like its center is a comma 0 and radius is a since in the question it is given that the region of integration is upper half of the circle so this one is the region of integration here we complete the step 
Now in step two, we have to find the limits of R and theta. Note that here region is varying from this point over this curve. At this point on y axis, theta is pi by 2. When we put pi by 2 over here, we get r is equal to 0. So lower limit of r is 0. And this r is varying over this curve. And equation of this curve is r is equal to 2a cos theta. So the upper limit of this inside integral is 2a cos theta. Now for theta limits, note that this region of integration is touching to the positive x-axis and on positive x-axis theta is 0. So lower limit of this integral is 0. And since this region is touching to the positive y-axis, theta will be pi by 2. So the upper limit of the outside integral is pi by 2. Now next step is the evaluation. I am leaving it for you. Here is the final answer of this double integral. Please cross check and write me in comment box whether you got this answer or not. Now let's go ahead for final example. Here we are asked to evaluate double integral of r dr d theta over the region in the first quadrant and bounded by the circle r is equal to a. Let's see its solution. In step 1, we have to draw these curves which bounds the region of integration. Here region of integration is in the first quadrant bounded by the circle r is equal to a. To find the center and radius of this circle, we take square of both the sides. We get r square is equal to a square. But we know that r square is x square plus y square. So in terms of Cartesian coordinates, this equation is now x square plus y square is equal to a square. This is equation of a standard circle centered at origin with radius a. Now let's draw this circle. Since given that, region of integration is in the first quadrant and is bounded by the circle. So this one is the required region of integration. Now let's go for step 2. Let us find out limits for r and theta. Note that in this region of integration, r is varying from 0 up to this curve. And on this curve, r is a. So lower limit of r is 0 and upper limit is a. Now for theta limits, check that this region of integration is touching to the positive x-axis. Over here, theta is 0. So lower limit of this outside integral is 0. Also, this region is touching to the positive y-axis. Here, theta is pi by 2. So the upper limit of this outside integral is pi by 2. I hope guys you understood how we have evaluated these limits. Now next step is the evaluation of this integral. I am leaving it that for you. Here is the final answer of this integral. I hope guys you understood all the examples that we have studied today. I will be coming with more such interesting concepts in my next videos. Till then keep watching. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.